See? It's actually marked with peg 31 on the bank because 30 got blown in the back yesterday. It was howling a gale down here yesterday. So if you draw peg 30, it's actually marked peg 31, which is the last peg down here. One, yeah. All right, all on the one bank. But it's quite overgrown in places, so I've had to space them out. And I've literally, we used to get 55 pegs on here, but I could literally just squeeze 30 in yesterday. Pegs one to seven, are nicely spread but then there's a big gap then to get to peg eight nothing i could do about it some pegs are a little bit tight peg 26 you gotta do a little bit of gardening all right but try not to do gardening too much on the other pegs because they don't want us pulling up the reeds and everything all right okay that's here we are then that's um it's a rare occasion, it's a, a fishing match on the local uh, East Stock in Cardiff, only five minutes away from me. Um, it's a sellout, I managed to get the last ticket, well, only because it was a cancellation. So, um, but it's a fabulous venue, it's a shame really that it's, um, uh, this is a cab syndicate and uh, they, they allow one or two matches a year. The last match I had 50 odd pound on the waggler, didn't I? Uh, but of course it's a feeder only match today. And it's in memory of John Deacon who passed away last year. And um, we're running a memorial match on his behalf. Um, it's a feeder only, because that's what he, uh, that's what, I think that was his tactic. Or, anyway, um, that was decided. Um, right, they've already drawn, they were, most of them are on their pegs already, and it's quite a big water, so <laughs> I'd better make a move. See so you down on the peg now. Yeah, I'm just walking down the ramp now to the top end of the the dock um, and peg 18 which I think is probably in the middle somewhere or yeah uh, you know usual thing the cormorants having their full of fish <coughs> yeah so I gotta walk all around there all right, see you on the peg. Okay, I've arrived at my peg, um, peg 18, which is right on the corner. It's like a bit of a point. And those angles there are set back. And then I got these angles there. Uh, years ago, the best pegs were the ones in the middle. Um, Andy Neal's on there. No, he, Andy Neal actually won the match last time with uh, 102 pounds, I think it was. So he obviously uh, knows what he's doing when it comes to bream fishing. Um, so yeah, and nobody on the other side. <coughs> <Excuse me. coughs> right. Just set up two feeder rods today. That's it. Okay. Well, it's uh, about, about ten minutes to go. Um, Tell you what I'm going to do. I set a spodding rod up. Well, when you say you're not allowed to spod, but a big feeder, and I set up one feeder block end, um, and that's it really. <laughs> uh, it's taken me an hour and a half to sort myself out. But um, I tell you what, I've got you know, brought a lot of tackle really, just for, like one rod. But I suppose yeah, I want to concentrate on that. I don't want to confuse myself having different setups. You know, I see the bream or bust really catch it through roach in between that'll be good so anyway i'll just quickly show you what i've done i've got casters got dead maggots and what i've done this is a little tip i got you uh, when i first got you i put half a pint of um, maggots into water so uh, they basically drown so yeah so they become almost dead like dead maggots so when they go into the ground bait they'll be dormant on the bottom um you know if you haven't frozen any maggots or uh, or brought any dead maggots with you this is the, the next best thing you can do um, and it, I, I find it works better because at least the maggots are fresh and not like rotten and stinking dead like you know um, uh, then I've got fresh maggots of course casters corn I've got um, a variety of little boilies and pellets which apparently that's what they catch uh, that's what they catch the bream on here so um, I'll be giving that a little bit of a try all these different things got my ground bait which is basically a uh, black bream mix got more fish meal in this today Obviously, because I want to try and uh, eliminate the roach if I can. Just try and catch, just try and catch bream. Um, now, the, uh, last time there was some good weights. Uh, that peg there, there was sixty pound off that peg. And Rob Jones, uh, actually, I think he's still a Welsh international lad. I'm not sure. 
um, but he's on that peg, so I've got to, my work cut out there. Um, then I got uh, Steve, uh, um, Steve O'Mara. Now he's um, he runs the matches down the dock, and he's uh, he's really really good on the feeder. So yeah, I've got a couple of good feeder lads, Richie next to me, um, Andy Neil is on the, one of the favourite pegs, he's right on the crane there, so uh, he should do well. Um, it's a bit of wind coming out, a bit of a westerly wind, so I'm going to position myself sort of this way. Uh, I'm using a bank stick as um, a rod rest. I'm sitting on the bank. Got my box there. Got my towel. <laughs> oh, okay. No further ado, I'll wait for the match to start. Okay, just finished off. I just um just put some water on some pellets, 8mm. Um I know they're, they're quite big really, I suppose for bream, but uh, I know the carp lads use them on you. And they catch loads of bream. In fact there was a 12 pound one caught last night on the boilie. So um who knows? <laughs> I'm not saying we're gonna catch them in a match. Probably this. I think the average uh, stamp are usually two or three pound. A lot of the ones I caught last time were only skimmers a pound. <laughs> but yeah, you know, um, as I say, it's uh, it's going to be an interesting match. Feeder only. I think more and more matches are becoming feeder matches, aren't they? I noticed. Um, you know, they got feeder world champs now, and there's feeder uh, sort of um, you know big feeder competitions. So, uh, it is becoming very, very popular. Me, of course, I prefer the old natural fishing, waggler, you know, maybe a bit of pole fishing. So, anyway, as I say, it's, it is the official close season. Um, I did put a petition up after, lads. I don't know if you want to um, sign it. I'll try and put a link um, on the blog later. If you want to sign it, you want to uh, abolish the close season, then that would be great. I mean, leave it to the um, the owners. You know, if they want to close it for a month or two, but certainly, I mean, you know, a lot of them they, uh, the season when they close it early, the fish are not spawning. They don't they don't actually spawn till uh, end of May, June, and the end July even. You know. Anyway, I'll leave a link on the bottom for that. Right, it's going to start now in a minute. So, come back to you on the on the all in. Okay, that's all in. I'm not going out too far, I'm going out about 40 yards. Just going to clip this up a moment. Count to ten then. So it's both, probably about ten foot and twelve foot. Put about half a dozen or so of these in. I've, um, 
And I get that um, that tunnel, uh, that archway. So that's my uh, target point. It's going to be a, it could be a waiting game, yes, but you never know. They might come to it straight away. There's a road right behind me, so if it's a bit noisy, you can't hear me, it's because of the traffic. and keep it as simple as I can. The worst comes the worst, I'll go further out. But, um Another one for luck, I think.
think I mentioned it last uh, match about uh, bream fishing and roach fishing on the feeder. I mean, um, bream fishing, you just got to basically sit on your hands and wait for the tip to go round. <laughs> so that's what I'll probably be doing today. Another one in, I'm going to put some pellets in this one. Not that I want any carb to show up, but uh, you know, I think Bream do like the bodies and the pellets on them. Um, tell you a little story about this place. Um, there used to be a West Dock as well, which is on the other side of the building. Right? And um, many years ago, the Cardiff City Council decided to develop it, and they filled that in. And this um, this East Dock, which was a lot bigger and deeper, uh, they decided that they were going to fill this in as well. And anyway, they started filling in because uh, oh, I know this is a friend of mine. Uh, Used to um, his father um, used to be one of the directors of the Brunswick, and they had the um, the inevitable job of filling this place in. Well, because it was so big and deep. By the time they got halfway doing it, they decided uh, the council decided, uh, you know, it was costing too much, so they decided to leave it and leave it as a as a, a pond or a lake or a dock, <laughs> and. Um, Anyway, basically, uh, that's why the, the depth on this is a bit strange. In some places it's deep, in other places it's quite shallow. Like up the top end, it's only about, you know, four or five foot deep. Um, this is, might be, I don't think this is the deepest section I'm on here, but uh, it is a bit deeper. Anyway, um, they then done these railings uh, around the lake, and the trouble is, they done the dock, uh, it was too close to the bloody, um, to the dock for fishing. You know, it become a big obstacle. But over this side, we've got plenty of room, so that's very, that's why I think most of the anglers come over here, and I think that's why uh, a lot of the, um, uh, that's why we have matches over here. Right, I'll leave that for that now, and I'll go on the, go on the, put some bait on now, put my feet there. Start off with a uh, couple of maggots. About an 18 inch tail, size uh, 12 foot barbless. We've got to bear in mind it is winter, so um, it's about 11 degrees today, so it's not too bad. Uh, we've had a bit of rain, and it hasn't coloured it up at all, it's quite clear. Taking up the slack on the line a little bit. A little, a little like a little knock there. I don't know whether that could have been a roach or a line break. Right. Oh, I'm in already. Go, go, go.
Oh, no. There's a boat there. Nice one, got pound, pound and a half. <laughs> Rob was saying he hadn't even put a bait on yet. <laughs> So there was um, triple maggots in. Triple maggots. Eh? Yeah, that's not bad for this truck. <laughs> So I thought it was a little uh, knock. Looked like a road spike, really. It's a good sign that because catching a fish early, we haven't got time to build a swim up, have we? I must twitch a little bit. I didn't have a bite down, I just, um, I wasn't quite happy with that sort of landed. So. Little tip: you always hold the um, the bait in the, you know, with your fingers, and then you can pull the feet up with one hand, then so it doesn't tangle. You I learned to sit on my hands here. <laughs>
Okay, it looks like a waiting game, so what I'll do, I'll, um, I'll come back to you if it starts, you know, if I start getting bites on a regular basis. Okay, just sort of quick, uh, quick update. I've had, um, had a nice one about three pound just now, and then I had a skimmer about ten ounces. <laughs> oh, there you are. Um, but apparently they're catching a bit further up into the middle um, at what they call the crane section, which is um, you know, which is what I expected. So anyway, just keep at it. I mean, Rob on my left hand had a fish yet, so you know. Okay. Yeah, they're not um, slam dump, um, you know, sort of bites. They're only little sort of twitches. I like that. Yeah. We'll wait for it to go around. Okay. Okay, look at that, look at the size of that one, that's a nice one. It's going to be four pound, five pound. Okay, um, I've got a couple of minutes for another one, but I was a proper bite that last one. Should have stayed on my hands then because uh, I was probably a liner then. Can I cast her and a maggot on this time? It's like a little liner then. Oh, another liner. Oh, bloody hell. Liners! Bloody thing. <laughs> oh, you know, I've got round there now. I think they're coming your way. Thing is that tip shot right round then. Hey! And caster. Yeah, maggot and caster.
You have to watch my vlog. <laughs> you have to watch my vlog. <laughs> that should be what uh, I catch it on. It is a waiting game, so I'll come back to you again in a minute. Right, I'm trying to put the rod down because I am getting liners. So, um, anyways, I've, apparently uh, he's only had one roach next to me, but then he's had six on the on the other side of him. So. Depends on the size of them, I suppose. Oh, another line. I think it's just a matter of sitting on your hands and waiting for the tip to go round. A little bit like cow fishing. <laughs>
Why did Cup all go like that then? a little bit of a pull up. You just um, hooking them on the lips though. <laughs> I thought they might have gone down a bit deeper, but no, only one.
Hey, Rob's uh, just catching one here now. Well done, Rob! Okay, um, I just, uh, it's going to be quite a gun on the corn. Um, I don't uh, seem to be getting those uh, liners like I was, but uh, you never know. Bream do tend to sort of be like sheep. They sort of, you know, graze around, don't they? And they, and they come back. They usually do, uh, like, they usually go in circles, don't they? Or, um, or like, runs. So, you know, well, they got a little bit of a movement on the tip. Just wait for that to go round, I think. Again, it's probably a liner, you know. So I think once they get in a gob, they just swim away, and um, your, your tip just, you know, bends round. Okay. Okay. I stopped getting liners, um, but I just did have a fish then. Um, that's about seven bream I've had now. Well, I see, I've got a lot of liner then, but. So there's those liners, because the fish are so big, they look like bites. Oh, 
It's a little tip I'm doing. I'm putting a thread in a caster up the shank. And then I'm putting three maggots on. And the last one I'm putting on the tip. Straight away, straight away. That was a big one, dummy. I think it might have been foul locked because the, the way it was bumping the line, you know, it was coming in like a dead weight. It was a big fish as well, that. I think, uh, you know, that was another four or five pounder. Oh, no. First fish I've lost. <laughs> Thank you.
Yeah, I guess that rose fouled up because I'd only just cast in and uh, the tip went right round straight away, so... I nearly had it all come to the service, I didn't quite see it, but... Uh... Could have been a bonus fish. The wind's picking up a bit now. Well, I'll come back to you. Okay, um, I think the match is about an hour and a half um, in the, into the match now, and um, I've only had one of the bites since I've lost that fish, so I don't know whether <laughs> that fish spooked the, spooked the shoal or... I doubt it anyway. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, well, I just had a call from um, the organiser, Sean, uh, and he's he's at 20, so uh, he's, he's probably winning the match, and they're big ones as well, you know, they're like, he said they're four or five pounds each. So, um, yeah. Um, but, like, as I say, bream can just show up any time, can they, you know? Um, but, like you said, they've gone dead, like they have here as well. Okay, I'll crack on. Um, come back to you if I start catching again. Okay, it's about half hour to go now. Um, I struggled the last hour. I had a, li a little run. Had a couple in the middle of the match, and then um, the last hour... Our two hours been very very quiet. Um, I haven't had a bite for a long time. I tried a few things. I tried sweet corn and obviously the maggot casters. Um, it's an interesting match mine because uh, Richie next to me, uh, I was beating him at one time and I think he's caught up. Uh, he might even beat me now. I think. Um, if Sean in the middle, he's, he had twenty like in the first hour. And then Andy Neal's had a few. Yeah, you know, there's a couple of couple of us have all, you know, caught a few fish like. But there anyway, are. Um, just a half hour to go now. Unless I have a little run of fish. I, oh, I did I pick up a nice fish, mind. I, I reckon he's good five pound, six pound. It's a lovely venue, though. I mean. Um... Okay, the match is over. Well. What can I say? The last hour and a half, never had a bite. And Richie, um, he kept catching. I think he's overtaking me now, by the sound of it. So there you are. Never mind. Um, it's been an enjoyable day catching some big bream. You know, I got a couple there. You know, five pounds. Might even go six on one of them. But um, they caught in, in the middle of the crane section here. Uh, you know, early. See, so you know, and, and they kept catching. So anyway. Um, do the way you know, let's have what we got. Um, don't know if, um, if in the main money I might get a section, who knows? <laughs> we'll see. Okay, do the way you know. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't got a match weight, right, then you got three, four. Is there many of them in here then? Oh, no, I don't know. Fuck, I'll do me, I will. It's the biggest one I've ever caught. <laughs> Pussy magnet. <laughs> Six pounds. Right, he had a catfish then. Oh, don't know what they bloody stocked in here. Yeah? I know there's grass carp in here, yeah? uh, but somebody's been putting bloody catfish in, you know. <laughs> okay, just a couple of pounds been weighed in so bad, but here's a, here's a big weight. now Andy, he's going to have a few. Thank you.
Well, it only goes to 20, that scales here. Yeah. Oh, it's just not. It's miles. Eh? We were supposed to have the one from Gerald, but he didn't turn up. Yeah. Mum went to hospital. Well, why do you need to have to say? 20, There's a van. Coming on. Okay, well, uh, they're taking the fish away. Lovely dream, isn't it? Beautiful, oh. oh. These are bigger than you had in yeah, the autumn, isn't they? You only had the two pound fish then, didn't yeah. they? Yeah. Right, this looks like the winner. He's admitting to 27 fish, and they're, they're going to be big ones as well. <laughs> Is it four fish away, is it the same? Four or five? Well, a lot of these fish are four and a half pounds, otherwise. Thanks. Fucking hell. That's enough. That even might be over. How many is that? Yeah, you could put five fish in, couldn't you, really? 15, 12. Either one, Richard. Four seventy four eighty one. We'll get another one in it. Take one off, yeah. I know I couldn't get it with my ass right to say an element job holding up. See that coming? No, you fall back. Yeah, I mean, basically. Yeah, we don't mind getting dirty, that's quality. You can have a look. Yeah, well, they are. Uh, 41 pound they have. <laughs> um, so that's force, force. Um, so I might get a section with that. <laughs> but some good weights here, though, fair do. So it was 80 yard, 70 yard. Um, 
there's a 44 and, a, and mine 41 so there and um, you know you didn't catch much next to me unfortunately and and down the, the other end of this um section they only had a couple of pounds it was a six pound catfish i don't know if you saw that <laughs> anyway um it's a great little venue as i say it's, it's it's a shame that they don't have that many matches on there and i think they could probably have another one now next year um I was invited to come down and fish it. Um, I might come down one day and for a little bit of pleasure fishing, who knows. <laughs> um, anyway, so uh, thanks for watching and um, uh, I'm going to go back now and see if I've picked up any money. If not, um, I'll see you on the next one. Okay. We'll do the sections first. Section 1 to 10. Yeah, I'll do the sections first. Section 1 to 10. Ross Townley, £15.13. Right. Section 11 to 20. Oh no, we're not paying him. <laughs> uh, Clive Branson, 4150 3D volts. Oh, 3D volts. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be fine. 21 to 30. Scott Wharton, 44.8. Fourth place today was Andy Nail, 44.10. Moment. Third place, Tony Burke, with sixty-two pound each. Where was he from? Oh, yeah. Second place, we're in. 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 Second place, we're Richard Candy, sixty-seven pound two ounces. I'll get his daughter. I haven't got my stuff down there. I have got my stuff. Oh, someone hold it a minute. Come on, Clive, for fuck's sake. I want you on the day. Yourself. Perfect. Yeah, you did. You had the sea back last week. Me with eighty-four pound five. Oh, then. Second place, Richard Candy, sixty-seven pound two ounces. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.